Hello, and welcome into the Lindsay McKean Forum <laughs> here on YouTube. I am your queen, Gorgon, and I am going to give you a reading. Today's question we are investigating is... What's your life going to be like in the afterlife? This is going to be brief. However, I do have tricks and treats Ooh. <laughs> for you to choose from. There's pack number one, which is Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate Bar with Mini Egg. Pile number two is going to be a Hershey's Chocolate Bar and Birthday Cake. Pile number three is going to be... <laughs> okay tarot cards by Spencer's and pad number four is going to be a surprise If you have picked pile number one, then this is going to be your corresponding card. Now let's dive a little bit more into this. With the magic of you, Oracle, unlock your hidden truth by Fiona Horn and illustrated by Marcella. Boulevard. And this is the Deviant Moon Tarot deck by Patrick Valenza. Here we go. Here we go. I'm already sensing that you're going to have an ability to really sink into your surroundings. You're really going to Feel every atom in the atmosphere. We have 19 Nas, feel loved and proud. I think you'll have a lot of experiences or entities that will create an environment for you that you can always feel a balance of love and knowing that you're respected and others admire you. Simple, but at the same time, I think some people wonder, it is question, if people will be meeting or not. And I think that is a yes for you, pile number one. Congratulations. Let's move on to pile number two. The birthday cake chocolate bar. I need birthdays. <laughs> Yeah, October birthdays, then October, November birthdays. Okay, let's go ahead and open this first. <sighs> Is it Scorpio yet? <laughs> and your corresponding card is the Queen of Swords. I'm sensing that. You're gonna have a lot of protection. So if you're a practicing medium, if you are someone who runs into trouble here and there, 
you feel a little worried, know that that is something that you won't have to worry about at all in the afterlife. I think some people worry about confronting God too, or confronting Osiris, and I think um, your story is going to be evident. We have Minmus. Communion with swords. <laughs> I'm not saying you're coming to God with swords, by the way. I'm saying that, like, um, this is kind of how you, like, you've protected yourself during your life. And that's important to understand is that um, sometimes we ha we were like, oh, did I do everything? Yeah. You did do the right thing. Okay. We have Minimus coming with swords. Number 17. Wow. <laughs> I think you're going to have a divine experience. Um, I think you're looking to explore an adventure in the afterlife. And I really see that for you. I think things that you might have felt like you didn't get to really um, feel the fullness of in life, you're going to have in the afterlife. Congratulations, pile number two. On to pile number three. Oh, lots of congratulations tonight. But you know what? I think success is always something to celebrate. We have the Three of Cups. That is the corresponding card for the tarot cards. I'm sensing that you're gonna have exciting energy in the afterlife. This time it's Spontaneous, hilarious, happy, joyful. You're looking to have that balance towards um, progress, I guess. How we can evolve intensity, the intensity of beautiful experiences. And this time with people, I think, or companions, we have paradisical. <laughs> Pop the dicicle. <laughs> paradisical. <laughs> you belong to paradise, 24. You're going to feel completely relaxed different levels of relaxation in the afterlife, pile number three. Whew, that's a good manifestation. Manifestation, I commend you on that. <laughs> hmm, I gotta get to the drawing board. <laughs> okay, should, should we open this? Let's, let's open this. Pile number three. The nine of cups, so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, they have <laughs> the same deck. I can remember. I gave my original one I had away. I feel so, so <laughs> in the good. Um, it 
it's like nostalgia, <laughs> but not at the same time. <sighs> Arachne, <laughs> the Six of Pentacles. I think you have a lot to say too, and you're gonna have a lot of times to be um, a leader in the way that people are like, oh, I remember, remember that. And you'll be in the afterlife with all these memories that <laughs> um, really add to your social life or your kin. Ship life. Congratulations, and Page of Swords, Hellas Horsemen could have lots of um, romantic experiences with a special person. Wow, congratulations, that's something to get <laughs> I'm saying congratulations so many times tonight. Maybe it's a ceremony. <laughs> okay. On to pile number four. And you have a surprise. Number four. <laughs> My nose is making noise. you're gonna have this is a corresponding card trustful relationships you're gonna feel like you're connected in a network in the afterlife you may be very powerful <laughs> okay that's exciting news sometimes you wonder am I gonna be a bird flying and if I'm a bird, which kind of bird? It could be an angel, it could be cardinal, it could be a convenient piece. We have mosaic. Let chance play its creative role in your life. Yeah, you're gonna become one with all the fantasies <laughs> you've acquired over this lifetime. That's beautiful. I'm gonna say congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. meeting <laughs> and we will talk soon <laughs> soon and we used to say like we will stay in touch <laughs> So, um, happy Halloween!